right now, we were uh, looking at uh, computing the present value of these cash flows. Yeah? So we take this value here, uh, 5,000 plus 3,600, so 8,600. Divide this by 1 plus 8% raised to the power of 2. Yeah? That means you discount the 8,600 at 8% over 2 years, you get this value. Yeah? Likewise, if you discount all these cash flows, yeah? these two, okay, 8,200, you discount at 8%, over 3 years you get this value and so on. Yeah? You do that for all the years, yeah, until the very last year, the 10th year. And then you sum all this, yeah, you sum all this, you get exactly 50,000, yeah, that's the answer, yeah, meaning the present value of all these cash flows, when you add them up, now you can add them, yeah, because they are all present value, yeah you should get $50,000, which is equivalent to the loan amount that you have obtained. Yeah? That should always be the case. What you get uh, must be the same value as what you pay yeah, at the given interest rate. Yeah? All right. Now, uh, that is what we mean by fixed principal uh, payment loan. Yeah? Means this principal amount is fixed over the years. Yeah? Now, let's go back to the slides. Now let's look at the last type of loan, yeah, the fourth type of loan, which is amortized loan with fixed payment. Here the total payment is fixed. Yeah? This payment includes interest as well as principal amount. Yeah? Alright, what does that mean here? Um, amortized loan with fixed payment means there is fixed regular total payments but decreasing interest components and increasing principal components during the Loan term, yeah. There will always be decreasing interest, yeah, because you repay the loan, yeah. You repay part of the principal over the term of the loan. Therefore, your interest will always decrease. But with uh, amortized fixed payment loan, the uh, principal component will increase over time. Yeah? The principal component will increase over time. The payment, yeah, uh, that you make for the principal. Will increase over time because your interest component will decrease yeah? and your payment is already fixed when your interest goes down your principal component will go up yeah that's how it works all right let's look at this example consider a four-year loan with annual payments yeah the interest rate is eight percent and the principal amount is five thousand yeah so first you need to compute the annual payment yeah now this is a very simple present value of annuity problem where you need to solve for the unknown payment yeah there are three factors or elements that are known the first element is the term four year loan the second element is the interest rate eight percent per year and then the present value of the annuity yeah, is known so how much do you need to make payment every year yeah so this one you can solve using the payment yeah uh, payment for ordinary annuity yeah, formula so we know that this is the present value multiplied by the interest rate, this multiplied by this, divided by 1 minus 1 plus R, 8%, raised to the power of negative 4, in yeah, the term, 4 years. So this will be your payment. This is how much you need to uh, pay every year for 4 years. Yeah? This will be enough to repay your five thousand dollar loan yeah so this is what is meant by this yeah now you want to show this uh amortization schedule yeah in the spreadsheet yeah let's look at that in the spreadsheet now all right and yeah, we are in the spreadsheet now uh, we see that this is fixed payment amortized loan yeah so the value of the loan is five thousand you will see five thousand dollars now you pay interest of eight percent per year and the term is for four years yeah so we have computed yeah that the payment that you need to make is you can either use the formula here the function yeah in excel use equal to payment as we have seen earlier or you can use the formula here yeah sorry about that uh, okay uh, you can use the formula here yeah this formula that we have uh, shown on the slides yeah? and you get the same answer one thousand five hundred and nine dollars and sixty cents yeah this is the amount that you need to make a uh, payment that you need to make every year yeah now let's look at this payment yeah? this is year zero this is one 
okay now is one year from now two years from now three years and then four years from now yeah so that's the term of the loan because it's four years right now the loan balance now is five thousand okay you know that the payment that you need to make every year is the same this is taken from here one thousand five hundred and nine dollars and sixty cents yeah this doesn't change every year you make this amount of payment the next step is actually to calculate the interest yeah payment interest is eight percent from the loan balance the previous loan balance yeah so eight percent multiplied by five thousand you get four hundred yeah four hundred so four hundred will be the interest payment so the remainder yeah the total payment that you make is one thousand five hundred and nine dollars and sixty cents so the remainder is this minus this will be this amount yeah ignore the negative the negative here is just to show that there is an outflow of cash yeah all right so here 400 so this must be the difference this minus this will be this value here principal payment okay the amount of principal paid will be 1109.60 all right yeah so the loan balance now becomes lower yeah which is this this sorry this minus this yeah or you this plus a negative cash flow of this you get a reducing loan balance yeah three thousand eight hundred and ninety dollars and forty cents okay now the second year what happens the total payment will still be the same but the interest payment will become less why because you have less loan yeah, balance now yeah? you don't have five thousand you have less yeah? because you have paid repaid the principal yeah so it'll be eight percent multiplied by three eight nine zero point four zero you get three one one point two three yeah that will be the interest payment but you pay make a total payment of one thousand five hundred and nine dollars and sixty cents so the difference here yeah, this minus this will be your principal payment this much you will uh, make uh, towards paying the principal amount of the loan yeah so your principal balance will become less this plus this or negative of this yeah plus negative of this therefore your loan balance becomes lower yeah and if you extend this further, you find that the loan balance becomes lower, lower until it becomes zero. This is similar to the previous example here. Yeah? It becomes lower, lower until it becomes zero. Yeah? But the difference here is the principal amount is fixed. Okay, Only the principal amount. Here the principal amount is not fixed. Yeah, But the total payment is fixed. Every year is the same. Yeah, But finally, both yeah either this method or this method gives you the loan balance to be zero at the end yeah it's also zero all right uh, note that the interest payment becomes lower over time okay this is 400 this is 300 this is 200 and this is 100 yeah, roughly and here also the interest payment becomes lower yeah over time yeah? it becomes lower because there is less principal outstanding yeah the loan balance outstanding is lower and yeah? therefore the uh, interest payment will become lower likewise here the interest will also become lower but the principal component here here it is fixed here the principal com component will become larger over time why because the total payment which is this plus this is this yeah this payment is fixed therefore when you have reducing interest payment over time your principal component payment will become greater over time okay so this is how the uh, uh, loan yeah, amortization is structured yeah? so you need to understand how this works out yeah? I would encourage students to do this schedule on your own and compute each yeah? manually yeah? don't use a spreadsheet you can use spreadsheet as a practice but it will be useful for you to work out yeah? using paper and pencil and a calculator yeah work out all these values all these values yeah all these values okay and you find that the uh, loan balance will be zero yeah let's do one more year go through one more year okay the third year okay uh, the principal amount the total payment here yeah, is fixed 1509.60 just like in other years okay now the interest payment how do you get this value this is eight percent multiplied by the uh, previous year end loan balance which is 2692.02 yeah 
0.8% multiplied by 2692.02 you get negative or a payment of $215.36. So this amount from this amount will go towards paying interest. So the remainder of that will go towards paying the principal, repaying the loan. Yeah. So now your loan balance will be this, yeah, plus this, you get this, yeah. This is your previous uh, year loan balance. You make a payment towards of this much towards reducing this balance, yeah. Therefore, your balance becomes lower. Okay, it becomes one three seven uh, one three nine seven point seven eight. Okay, and the final year, same thing. Okay. Uh, the interest payment is 8% multiplied by the now reduced loan balance. We get 111.82, that's the interest payment. This minus that will be your principal payment. Yeah? 1397.78 will be your principal payment. Okay, so this uh, plus this, yeah? this minus this or minus a positive value here or plus a negative value here you get the loan balance to be zero yeah so that's how it works and uh, it's no surprise if you take the total payment that you make yeah this is this the total payment here the total payment here and so on you take the present value of all this yeah or you can just take the total payment of this the present value of this payment okay that means how do you get this one three nine seven point seven eight it is 1509.60 divided by 1.08. Yeah, you get this value. This is the present value of this payment at the end of year one. This is the present value of this payment at the end of year two. How do you get this value? It is 1509.60 divided by 1.08, 1 plus 8% raised to the power of 2. Yeah, because you discount this over two periods. Or two times, yeah, discount it two times. Likewise, this you discount over three times, this you discount over four times. Okay, and then you add all these, okay, you get exactly five thousand, which is equivalent to the loan amount, yeah, that you have obtained. Yeah, this is what you get, this is what you pay, yeah, right? And the present value of what you pay must be equal to what you get. Yeah? So the same principle applies, yeah. Alright, so this is how you uh, analyze this type of loan yeah let's go back to the slides right now we are at the end of this chapter okay we review yeah a quick quiz to review what we have covered in the last part of this chapter yeah so what is a pure discount loan a pure discount loan is where uh, there is no actual yeah a physical payment of interest even though there is implied interest there is no physical payment of interest during the term of the loan yeah you borrow a small amount, then at the end of the term, you pay a large amount. Yeah? So that is called pure discount loan. There is no interest payment in between. Okay, There are only two transactions yeah? or two cash flows. One, you receive the loan Okay, at, in the beginning. At the end, you repay the loan plus interest Yeah, at the end of the term. That is called pure discount loan. Yeah? A good example will be a treasury bill. Yeah? Treasury bill. The government is the borrower. Yeah? The uh, investors will provide the loan, yeah? the lender. All right. What is an interest-only loan? Interest-only loan means uh, during the term of the loan, okay, there is only interest being paid. There is no principal being paid yeah, for the loan. Yeah? A good example of this will be corporate bonds. Yeah? Corporate bonds, uh, the uh, companies issue bonds. The investors purchase the bonds. And then uh, during the term of the bond, the investors just receive interest. Okay, they don't receive the principal amount yeah, that was borrowed from the investors. Okay, and at the end of the bond term, the maturity of the bond, then the principal will be repaid. Yeah? So that is what we mean by interest in the loan. Yeah? So, uh, and the last type of loan is uh, an amortized loan. Now, amortized loan uh, calls for an orderly. Uh, repayment of the loan yeah, over the term of the loan. Yeah? There are two types of amortized loan. One is fixed principal payment. Okay, the other one is fixed total payment. Yeah, so the more popular one will be the fixed total payment rather than the fixed uh, principal payment. Yeah, 
A good example of an amortized loan would be 